It has been a gauntlet, maybe a bit of an understatement. There's a lot of ground to cover tonight, especially given the fact that we went right up to the wire in terms of getting this ballot certified. In all, Nebraskans will be weighing in on six different initiatives dealing with paid sick leave, abortion, school choice, and medical marijuana. That's a topic, along with a few others, our John Grinvalds is following, and he joins us in Capital with more on these two measures. Madison Cole, the day started with an open question as to what a criminal case about fraudulent signatures could mean for the future of two petitions that would together legalize medical marijuana in the state. But as Secretary of State Bob Evans sent those ballot initiatives onward, it seems like that investigation didn't shake things up too much. This afternoon, Bob Evans said an investigation originating in Hall County and joined by the Attorney General wouldn't mean medical marijuana won't make the ballot. That investigation alleges that a Grand Island man turned in dozens of fraudulent signatures and he now faces a felony charge. AG Mike Hilgers says no other county election commissioners reported irregularities, but he says that thousands of signatures could be implicated, though he didn't go into specifics. Reporters asked Hilgers why this was all coming today, the deadline to certify the ballot. We're announcing it today because this, this is when the investigation was complete. There's no, uh, when we had the investigation complete and the charges were filed, we thought it was appropriate to let the public know um, that we're, it's not timed relating today's, today's um, certification deadline in any way. Hilger says he isn't done with the investigation, but Evans' decision came as a relief to those in the Nebraskans for Medical Marijuana camp. The campaign manager for Nebraskans for Medical Marijuana responded to the certifications today, saying in part, quote, today marks a momentous day for the patients of Nebraska who are one step closer to safe and regulated medical cannabis access. We are grateful for all the Nebraskans who have not only supported us, but been the heart and soul of this fight. Right now, the dust isn't settled as Attorney General Hilgers continues on that investigation. Secretary of State Bob Evans said that in the past, some of these ballot initiatives have been thrown out just days before the election because of a court order. Reporting live in the Capitol, John Grinvolts, 1011 News.